Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and today is Saturday, November 2nd of 2024. And so this will be part two of my basement. I really should have been able to get it done last week, but um, with the washer leaking, that two and a half, three inches of water flooded my basement, just had to stop. But I will say this week we did have the... Um, to let my dog outside. We did have the plumbers uh, come in and they did put the new sinks in. So I'm just gonna uh, bathroom on the main floor. So that's the sink I chose. Um, it actually takes up from the wall to here is actually smaller than the pedestal sink. And with this and I get the two nice uh, cupboards, you know, so I got the nice cupboard spaced here and a nice drawer. It hasn't been anchored to the wall, so I have to be careful. It kind of, you know, the vanity kind of tips a little. This bucket was here because the night he was here to install to put it in later that night, we found that it was leaking. Uh, he has since come back and it is not leaking. I'm just leaving the bucket there just because I don't have anywhere else to put the bucket at the moment. And I just realized that this came off up here there a little thing. so that is the sink and then the tap I chose yes it needs to be cleaned you know we've been painting and stuff so splatters but so I chose this particular style here it's kind of got this like chunky square look and chrome to match the handles on the doors and the drawer and then I will show you the one that's downstairs okay the sink down here my daughter chose this one she actually gets a bigger sink and it comes out further only because she actually had a little more room um in this bathroom than we had upstairs and she really likes the idea of having drawers so she picked the one that has the three drawers oh, extra screws that came with the drawers and the one cupboard so again we haven't really you know put anything down here these just got installed and then we tried to, because this was the faucet that she had picked out with this nice little bit of, you know, the chrome with the little white, like, um, ivory kind of looking taps. And it matched, you know, the toilet and the shower. And she kind of liked that one. But the sink that was here actually already had that style. And we thought we could save some money. We couldn't. Um... This sink is different, you know, different sizes than the other one. So we end up having to go back to Home Depot and actually buying this new faucet. We thought we could save like $100, $150 by not purchasing it. And then it happened to be on sale. So we got this tap here for 80 just under $85 with tax compared to the tap upstairs was 140 plus tax. So we did save some money by not buying it the day that we thought we would need it. But this sink is a bit wider and deeper than the one upstairs, but that's okay. We have to go with the size of vanity that will fit. And of course the medicine cabinets have not been put on yet. In fact, the medicine cabinet for down here is in its box over there. The one for upstairs is sitting in my living room. And then I'll come into this little room and I'll show you the laundry room sink has been hooked up. I am going to get you know a new light put in up here because I do need some light over here. But this is a stainless steel um, tub or sink. It's like 10 inches deep. Um, good size. It has the faucet no, just with the sprayer attachment. It's a little wobbly because it has to be, you know, it's not, you know, quite, I don't know. I think it's just because the wall has to be put back in place. So there is a gap here and so it kind of moves a little. But again, I like this one. It has, you know, under the sinks got lots of room for storing cleaners and things now of course this is just I kind of actually wanted it closer over here but it wouldn't fit just because the amount of space with the hot water tank and the pipes on the floor so it got put 
closer to the back here and I said that's okay it's it's just a laundry room sink somewhere that I can like soak some clothes and you know do like a pre-wash kind of a thing scrub out some stains so it's okay being kind of <laughs> kind of a little bit further from where I wanted it to be because I actually wanted it here because then I've got some light but that's okay we'll get another light installed over here so I don't have to be in that room too often. So this is what I'm going to be working on today. This stuff here is all my crafting supplies. They were all in the garage. My husband's busy cleaning out the garage right now. So this stuff here just kind of got put here. I got to go through it. And then I've just got all this other stuff here to kind of sort through. And um, yeah, when the stuff kind of the washer leaked, the water actually went past this door here so I had to move all this stuff and so my clothes just got thrown in my pantry for just now and I've got to go through all this so this is what I will be working on today so I'm just organizing and putting away and I will be back as I get stuff put away so I've got this large um, under the bed rubber made bin and I think it's meant for like wrapping paper I mean it's quite long you can actually fit most tubes of wrapping paper in here and well I've ever kept in here is just all the seasonal foam like I've got valentine's you know like thanksgiving thanksgiving there's easter uh, christmas you know like everything or easter um halloween again there's the hearts like valentine's butterflies flowers crown crowns if i can speak so i got the crowns and there was one it was like a hat somewhere in here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab the other empty box that i just emptied out and i'm gonna keep anything that is still wrapped like this is actually felt shaped bunnies i'm gonna keep those ones these ones here are the christmas ones little glitter christmas stockings i'll keep those i've got a whole bunch of these there's two different ones. There's the little squirrel and there's, oh, it's a squirrel one. This one, the horn of plenty. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to keep anything that is brand new. I'm going to keep anything that has been opened. I'm just going to donate. I mean, I can't really see myself really using a lot of this stuff, but some of these ones like this where it's hasn't been opened yet this would be something like I have friends who've got little kids I might as well wait till like Thanksgiving and give them out then and same with like some of these little Christmas ornament ones something like this I can save this and give it to a friend for like a stocking stuffer for her little daughter stuff like that it's just kind of you know that type of stuff like these I can use but I've got all these open packs of everything like I said it's every holiday imaginable I'm not going to be using any of this stuff anymore. So I'm going to keep whatever is brand new. That, so that way I can gift this stuff that's brand new. And then everything else I can just donate. And what I'm going to do is as I'm going through everything. I already have two boxes over that I would started like a week ago. And I've got another box I would started already today. And I'm just going to put donations in there. And then this week I'm going to put them out on my driveway. And anybody who wants any of this stuff can just take it. I mean, I've got some stuff that I can sell. Like I said, I've got you know, more expensive um, items. Like I've got some glass dishes down there that, you know, I mean, I don't know. I have to go through it and see if I keep it or not. But if I'm going to make, if I can make $10 or more, I will sell it. If it's going to be, you know, a yard sale, you might get $1 or $2.00. I'm just going to donate. That's how I feel about my stuff right now. It's just time to just go through, you know, get rid of anything that I know I'm not going to be using. Like these two baskets here are full of, like I can see it's um, more of my exercise equipment stuff. So that stuff I will keep. But those baskets actually fit upstairs on my little shelf in the living room. And they're already decorated for Christmas. And so I love to bring those out for Christmas just just sit there for decor so those baskets I love and then I've got a whole bunch of these type of different ones you can see there's a yellow one there and I've got that purple one there and I've got a whole bunch of these little baskets like this with the handle which I thought would help keep things organized and it did 
um, I had like four of those ones and I used to keep each one with um, little cleaning cloths and gloves and stuff in it for my kids so my kids could help clean the house and they each had their own little bucket a little basket and I even had like a little list of like room by room what has to get done in each room and I found it really helpful but now I've got all these baskets and they're just not usable anymore um like a basket this size you know this is what I use in my pantry to hold some of my glass jars um right now I find them useful you know, I mean these I buy at the dollar store well they don't have the price anymore but like under three bucks so something like this where, I mean, I could try to sell the garage sale or I could just, you know, let somebody take it off my driveway and I don't have to do anything. Stuff like that is what I'm going to be going through and just deciding what I'm going to keep and get rid of. And so just box by box. And then I've got all these rolling carts. I'm not going to get to them today, but eventually I do want to go through every drawer of these rolling carts and see what there is that I can keep or get rid of. I've already gone through all this stuff, so I know there should not be any actual garbage, but you'd be surprised how you do miss go so you miss garbage sometimes. So, I mean, it looks like I have a lot to go through. Not really. I see all these rolling carts. Once I'm able to clear a space along the wall, I'm just going to move all the rolling carts against the wall. And then, like I said, just those two stools there have a few things on them. Um, that box there has got a lot of florals sticking out. My florals is my big thing that I collect and I don't know how to store. So that's one, that's one thing I need to figure out is how to store florals because otherwise they get stored in the last arrangements and that can take up a lot of space if you see all my floral arrangements that I've got going on down here just because I don't know where to put them. Um, last place didn't matter. Florals could sit on shelves and take up as much room as they want. Down here, I don't have the you know, wall space for lots of racks. I also don't have the ceiling space to put it down like, you know, like a 10 foot rack. <laughs> this is my last house. We had like the basement had like 10 foot ceilings. So this basement here, it's, I don't even know. It, it feels so short. It feels like it's probably like seven and a half feet, maybe eight feet. Feels very, very small to me down here. And then, you know, the bulkhead as well. It just makes it feel like really small. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue going through every box. But as I go through and I find anything, I'll, let, I'll just keep you updated. But that's what I'm mostly going to do is just go through. And I just want to get as many bins and boxes emptied as possible. So I've emptied out this bin. So that is the um, foam that I'm going to donate. And I'm just keeping. So I said I happened to just find that little basket. So I found that much is the foam that I'm keeping. It just fits in that small basket. And then the box right beside me was full of all these florals. And I just said I don't know how to store florals. They fit in this box. No, I'm not putting them in neatly. If I put them in, if I arrange them a little bit neater, they'll fit better. But right now I'm just moving them from the one box into this. And then that way I'm gonna actually have this box cleared out. And then I just have this little cart thing here, this little toilet tree thing for the bathroom. I had it in my craft room. Uh, I'm no longer gonna need it, so I'm not keeping it. An over the door hook thing. These are always handy to have. These fit like anywhere. So those I love. Sometimes I'll even have like two on a door, one on each side, depending on where the door goes. And then this bag here, I know it's just Christmas decor. And then I'm just looking past that. I've got like stuff that was in my laundry room. Like I know this shelf was in my laundry room, that shelf down there was in my laundry room, and then the stuff here was in the laundry room on those shelves. So once I kind of get these rolling carts out of my way, I can get those shelves back in the laundry room. And I'm making like real progress. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm far enough from the wall now that I'm here. Oh, also with these florals, I found those candy canes, so I just stuck them there because we'll be using them fairly soon. And then these three bins, I kind of peeked through, they're all just full of um, crafting supplies. 
So I do want to get most of them will actually go back into those drawers, the rolling carts, because they have what's in them. And so, yeah, I'm just going to keep working at this. It's going to take a while, but I think I'm about halfway through to the basement, at least along the one side of where I've been working. So it makes me feel like it's not going to take me that long to get through all this. It just looks so big when you see all these big, you know, stuff stacked on top of stuff. But as I'm getting to here and then I'm looking what's over here. So like I said, I got those two shelves that go in the laundry room. That um, ironing board goes in my laundry room. I would hang up, but the door has been taken off, so I can't hang it up. Um, and then I have another, um, uh, was it, um, shelf, cupboard? Yeah, it's a cupboard because it got the door. That was also in the laundry room. And then I said that big box that says Glacier Bay, that is the medicine cabinet. And then I have a shoe, um, what I, it's like some type, oh, it's actually for records. The way the top shelf is angled. So it's actually for your records and books. So that I actually use for shoes. So that's going to be going into the closet. And then I just, on top of there, it's just a whole bunch of empty bins that I've already gone through and dealt with already. So as I'm going along, it's like, wow, I've gone through about half of the stuff that I have to do. And it's like, oh, makes me feel so much better. And then, of course, if I get back over on this side, it's going to be over here is what I have to pull out. But before I can pull this stuff back out, I need to clear this up. So when I'm standing here, it makes me feel like oh, I've got so much. I haven't done anything. Then I step over where I was working and I feel like I've actually accomplished a lot. I know exactly what's in these bags and boxes and I know where it's going to go. And so it's like just going to keep doing this. It's not going to take me that much longer to get at least uh, this stuff here sorted. I'm probably not going to get to that stuff till like probably tomorrow after church. But I do know that this was my project for this last week and it kind of got put on hold and then more stuff got piled down here. But I'm just going to keep working at it until I get it done. Okay, it is now like 10 o'clock at night. I've been working down here for several hours, even though, you know, it doesn't look like I've done anything. Um, I've actually just wasn't going to do it this way and then just started. So I'm going through every bin and every drawer and these rolling carts here. And so this one here is completely empty. This one only has the top two have stuff. There's a few things in that one and there's a couple items in the bottom. Most of these are here are also empty. This one is empty except the few little craft sticks I just stuck in here. So yeah, it's like I'm getting things emptied and gone. So this is what I'm keeping for pipe cleaners and then those are pens and markers that are going. That container I still have to go through, but I'm just kind of sorting things out. And this big pile here, well, kind of looks like a pile, but it's, um, this bin here has got stuff I got to go through. And then this basket here is mostly just stickers and a few odd little things up on top. But for the most part, this bin is just stickers. Like I said, this one I've got a go through it's just an assortment of lots of things and anything I find like this um, I don't think I'm going to use I have not used it I bought it you know, see secondhand store for a dollar fifty I'm probably just gonna pass it on I'm gonna keep it for a little while and just see if I get into doing more paper crafts but the designs on here, I don't think they're ones I'm going to be using. Same with, I've got a bunch of these packs of these paint brushes. I don't think I need these. I mean, I usually do try to get these ones. I don't know. I'm going to keep this pack because it's unopened. Um, but the open ones, I'll get rid of. Um, I don't use these for painting, but I do use these if I do chocolates in my chocolate molds. I just find the little paint brushes just get into some of the fine details, especially if you want to do multiple colors of chocolate. And then again, this is just random stuff that I just have to go through and see what is here. 
I go through this? Oh yes, I went through this bin. This is now just wooden beads. And I think that's what I've been working on. Just I'm going through every bin and drawer one by one. So it makes it makes me feel like I haven't accomplished anything, but when you'll say this is empty, this is almost empty, those are mostly empty. This one is mostly empty, you know, it just makes me feel like, okay, that basket there is empty. It's got some garbage in it right now, but that's going to be, you know, thrown out. So, yeah, and then I'm looking at what's here. I've got a box right there that's just video games. That's easy to put away. I've got these two rolling carts under this one here. Um, the purple one and that white one, they are both full of hair accessories. So those will be getting moved and I don't have to go through them tonight or right now. And then this one here, I've got two of these sets of six sitting on, t or two sets of three sitting on top of each other. So they do kind of clip in to make one big tower of six. It's all my daughter's stuff so I don't even have to touch those. So these are my bins of donations. That one is full. That one is full. And then that box right now is just full of garbage just because I ran out of... Um, I filled up my garbage can that was down here. So yeah, so like I'm getting done. Just a slow process. So I will be back tomorrow after church and get the rest of this finished. Okay, so it's now just after 4 o'clock on Sunday. I've been working down here since I got home from church. And at first I didn't think I really made any progress. But the first thing I did was I just wanted to be able to get into my pantry here. Because it was hard trying to reach anything and I had like uh, clothes piled up here. And I knew there was glass dishes and I was so worried that somebody was going to break something trying to get, you know, in here for any of the food. So I just took all the clothes that were piled up here and I just threw them in the closet with the rest of my clothes. It's not what I wanted to do, but that just got those out of my way. And then it makes it really look like, you know, I've really got a good, clear idea of what's in here now. And I know what I'm going to keep and donate. Uh, some of these boxes are straight donations. I just have to go through them and double check once more time. But a lot of this stuff I know is just going to be donations. With that being said, under here, under the stairs, this is everything so far. I mean, I have this one box here. I do have to go through because I found a couple items sitting on top that's not going. But this box here is complete donations. That box is complete donations. There's the other box and this box. So I know there's like five boxes sitting here that are complete donations plus anything else that I know that we're donating. I'm just setting over here. Uh, this box is empty. This box is empty. It just has some garbage in it because I just you know, filled up my garbage can and last night just found it easier to throw everything in a box than to go you know, empty out the garbage because I was worried if I left down here, I wouldn't continue working. Then that's just a garbage pile. It's just hard to see into the bathroom at the moment. This box here will be empty soon. That's just paint and my paints are going to go on the bookshelf as soon as I'm able to get there. This box here, it's... Although my nativity scene... And then some games. So again, as soon as I'm able to get to the shelf, the games are going to be going on the shelf. As you can see, I can now like walk almost through the entire basement. And I kind of know what's in all of these things so far. Like this box here is video games. That woven laundry hamper is just material. Those are um, grad photos of two of my kids. Those two bins there is cat and dog food things. So I will be going through those and seeing what can get donated. This green bin here is just art supplies. This pile of stuff here is my exercise. Then I got some lamps and the humidifiers and the air purifiers, which I got to take upstairs. And then again, this is the box uh, from my craft room before we moved everything I just finished making. And any supplies I needed then are in that box. 
Now, like I said, then you see the table. Like there's nothing really here on the table. I mean, I've got my iron, and I've got a pillow, and I've got some big florals here, and right there is a puzzle and some trays. So, I mean, I already know that there's not really too much left to finish going through. So, you know, I've got to finish going through this bag of stuff. And then I said, I know exactly what's in these boxes. And I was just lining things up on the shelves and I was going through, like I said, I was emptying out each of these drawers and going through them. I've got a big container there of markers and pens that I will be donating as well. And I got a bunch of glassware right there and I'm just gonna figure out if I'm gonna keep or donate. Same with that box there, I believe where the lampshade is sitting. I believe that box was already mostly donations. I mean, I got a few new items sitting on top, you know, crafting things. And then I've got two brand new lampshades that I was able to get in the past summer and they're not going with my color schemes or with the way you know, this house is going. I didn't know what my colors were gonna be, didn't know what my designs were gonna be moving into a new place. So I got them for free. I'm just gonna put them out tomorrow. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find everything, put everything in boxes and put it out on my driveway tomorrow morning. I was trying to do, be able to do it today and now it's already like after four o'clock. I just don't feel like trying to carry this stuff out of the house today. I just wanna finish going through all the rest of this stuff. And then I just gotta get the table out of there. And then I wanna get my rolling carts along the wall, along this back wall over here. And then I can really just get this stuff put away. And so that I'm just gonna continue doing. Okay, well, I might as well show you this. This is the spare bedroom upstairs. So this is where we're storing a lot of stuff that I have to get going through that I just, I don't have any room in the basement, but we needed it out of the way in the garage. So everything is just ending up here in this spare bedroom. Now all those clear bags and garbage bags there, that's all bedding that I will be going through and getting rid of. And don't need my cat deciding to dig through boxes. But this is where anything that I still have to go through, I just don't have time, don't have space. It's all getting just brought up here into this spare bedroom. Uh, this room up here will eventually be my office. So that's just going to take some time to get this all cleared out. But I'm going to be bringing my, I don't have a desk, but I'll be getting a desk and this will be my office. So I get to plan that out in the next couple of months as well. So yeah, just all this stuff I still have to go through and it's just, oh, I feel like I was almost done downstairs and then I came to bring these florals up here just out of my way. And then that's when I realized I have all this. But I will go out to the garage and you can see how much progress we have made out there. So this is the garage. You can see we've got it all really cleared out. Everything is, you know, my husband's got everything kind of piled up high and we've got the racks. We bought six, we installed four, so we took two of them back. And while I'm out here, I'm kind of looking for our light bulbs. My husband was asking for those this morning. They were in the hall closet. I took them out of the closet. They were on the kitchen table all week. Suddenly this morning, they're no longer on the kitchen table. And I don't see them here, but everything is just kind of you know, getting organized. I can actually bring my car in here, which was nice. Finally, after a couple weeks of having to be on the driveway, a couple very cold early mornings, the car didn't really want to start, but there's everything. So up here is kids' toys, games, and puzzles. My cat has been kind of separating things out. So again, this is majority of the stuff will be donations or garage sale. And this one here is all Christmas. So that again, that I'll be going through and figure out what I will need this year for Christmas. And then over here, we've got photos that, um, you know, just don't work in this house. 
So I uh, probably selling those that are worth a lot of money, some of them. And then just some, you know, sleeping bags, tarps, kites. The tent is there. Just some other random stuff, whatever my husband could put up there. So he was kind of separating everything out. And then all these bins here, I have to go through. So the red and green bins have my makeup in them. So I'm still looking for my makeup. And then the rest of it is just art supplies and kids toys. And again, I said once I get everything that's in the house done, then I'll just be bringing in one box at a time and going through and getting rid of all this stuff because I know already what's already in the house, half of it is going. So I can say easily half of this stuff will be going as well. So I'm just going to continue cleaning and getting rid of stuff and yeah, I just I can't wait till we have like not a lot of stuff just way too much stuff oh, and then I will say um this has been long quite a few years worth the process of going through and getting rid of stuff and as you're getting rid of stuff you're still accumulating this stuff and so it's really hard and you like I keep getting rid of stuff, getting rid of stuff, getting rid of stuff. And my house always feels like I can never get rid of anything. It's like I'm bringing the stuff into the house faster than I can take it out sometimes. So it feels, but I will say I'm at the point where I can see, um, yeah, with the amount of stuff that we have got rid of before the move and the amount of stuff as I'm finding places for everything knowing what we're going to keep what we actually use and it's just every time I go through it it's easier and easier to let things go um I have a lot of sentimental stuff which is going to be it's going to be impossible for me to let go of so much of like paper items and the kids toys and clothes but you know it's like if I can get rid of all this extra stuff, then I've got more room for what I feel is important to keep. So I'm just gonna keep what had it and I'll be back as I get more of my basement done. Okay, so this is what I have sitting on my driveway this morning. So that was just a quick view of what I've put on my driveway this morning. It's now Monday morning. Kind of chilly out this morning. And I just posted the ad on Kijiji for all that stuff. So these boxes here are empty. I do have the one that's got garbage in it. But other than that, there's one, two, three, four, five boxes that are empty. And all these bags are also empty. And I have to say, like, doing this clearing stuff out, I love to count, like, not just the boxes, but the bags that I empty. Now, obviously, this one doesn't count. This is just my reusable um, produce bags. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So I've got fourteen empty bags here that actually had stuff in it. So I can say like, you know, even little grocery bags, once you go through them, you got the bag is empty. You've got those boxes are empty. I have about four or five boxes sitting on my driveway that were empty at one point. Now they're holding stuff I'm getting rid of. So I can just look and see, you know, I mean, when I look at everything else, I still have to go through. It still feels like I've got a lot to go through, but I've stopped focusing on what I have to go through and start focusing on what I've already gone through in the last couple of days. So it's probably like about 10 boxes and 14 or 15, whatever I just said, I don't remember now, um, these little bags. And every box, <coughs> excuse me, every box or bag that you go through or every drawer, every shelf on your cupboard, it just, you know, you've gone through it, you get rid of it, you decide if you need it. If My biggest thing is I don't need most of this art supply stuff that is down here. It is... <clears throat> Mostly, um, like, I've got a whole containers full of school supplies for my kids. Well, my oldest is going in, she's in grade 12 this year. So, crayons are gone. I don't need them. 
if I want to do any crafting with crayons. Is it easy for me to pick up a pack of crayons? Yes. When I had four little kids starting school, could I afford four boxes of crayons? Probably not all at the same time. So again, it's just, I kept things, I buy extra things, I had my day home, things like that, that was different. Now I'm going through this and saying, okay, I've got a lot of paint, which I think I've already gone through all my paint before I moved because I haven't come across any paint. I think one container of, no, I did find one container of watercolor. But I haven't come across any like tempera paint or anything like that. So I think I've already gone through and gotten rid of all that kind of paint. Again, I found one box of crayons. And they're really cute. They were Shopkins. But I threw them in that box to go to get donated. It's, you know, um, yeah, just going through everything. And then I said, I've got all these glass jars here. And um, I no longer have an apple tree. I didn't do much canning the last couple of years. I can't really see myself really doing a big batch of canning right now. If I needed canning jars, can I pick them up? Yes, I've got two cases of brand new unused canning jars. Any of these other ones, um, like, you know, when you buy food and you, I kept these jars for canning. Um, I'm going to just find them. I do know other friends who do canning and stuff, and I will see if, they would like them for canning or crafts or something. I will be, you know, getting rid of them. I do have a few fancy ones like my maple syrup comes in these type of jugs. These look so cute doing other things with. So that I will keep. These little jars like this are from the dollar store. I'm not going to keep it. I think yeah, these were, um, oh, um, what came in here? I know it was, um ginger for my sushi that's what came in those ones they're cute i like them for some crafting ideas i would like to do but other than that i'm looking at this some of this glass stuff i've got here this stuff's got to either it's if it's really important to me it'll be in my china cabinet if it's not important i'm gonna get rid of it like i know this one here was just a cheap clear cut glass i spray painted the back of it I think I'll just do it again just because the paint you know didn't quite cover properly so that I want to keep because I want to redo that one this one here is a very interesting shape so I'll definitely be keeping that one this one here I bought on clearance from like Marshall's or Winners or something I don't really have a place for it anymore so that I will go but something like this I know because I paid a lot of money. These are handmade in, I believe it's Turkey. I don't know. The sticker's gone off of this one, but I got a bunch of them. I'm saving those ones for a garage sale just because I know that, you know, they're, I can get a couple dollars for it. This little basket here I picked up oh, during the summer for free. Um, I wasn't too sure, but I had an idea of what I could do for Christmas for it or for Easter. And then if I don't get to it, it is a plasticky one. I may or may not even keep it. I may not do anything with it. So again, it's just kind of going through each item by item and deciding, do I like it? Do I, you know, am I going to be using it? Like I've got, oh, I see some stuff there that I have put in the next box to go. Um, that tumbler there, um, that little teacup. I don't use that one. Um, I got it in the summer for free, but I found my better ones, and I'm not going to be using <laughs> that one. Those little guys there, I love them. They're hard to find. I've had them for a long time. They're little soap, one's the little soap dispenser, and one it holds, you know, your cleaning cloths, and those I'm going to put in my laundry room. So that's where they've always been, either the kitchen or the laundry room, so they're going to go back to the laundry room. But just again, just going through all this stuff, like this big stack here is foam, and I have another big stack oh, down here of foam. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing any foam crafting, but I'm going to keep it for now because I can't get rid of everything. Because I'm like, if I get rid of all my crafting supplies, I'm going to just start back at, you know, with, you know, going back to buying everything. But I had these big containers of beads and I went through and I found these beads I am not keeping. 
There might be a hole in this bag. <laughs> okay, but these are just a whole bunch of beads that I'm not keeping. I've got this container here. I believe it's this one. Yes, is now just wooden beads and a few other beads that I'll have to sort out. But I had three containers of beads, and now I'm down to just that one container. And so I'm just going to continue going through, like I said, one box, one drawer, one bag at a time. Um, and I'm just starting to slowly put things into these rolling carts and deciding, do I, am I doing that for crafting? I'm trying to figure out what kind of crafting do I enjoy. I love wreath making. I'm not going to probably continue doing wreath making for a while, so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with that stuff. Um, floral arrangements. I love making floral arrangements, but the big floral arrangements will not work in this house. So again, I'm just deciding what kind of things I like and don't like, what's going to work with this house. Like I have less um, places to put things, so I really have to like figure out what it is that I really, really want to keep. And everything else can just go. And it's you know, taken a long time to get to that point, but you know, as you go through everything. I said, every time I go through, it's just easier and easier. Like I went through this pile of stuff uh, Saturday and I'm looking at it now and I can see stuff that I put in here on Saturday that I'm not going to keep today. It's, I don't know why. Um, I just, I figure it out kind of like been thinking about what I like, what do I want to do. And I can say a lot of this art supplies are aimed at kids and I'm not keeping like probably in my earlier video I said I was thinking about this one. I'm not going to keep this. I'm not going to. It's not that I wouldn't do the paper embossing. It's just these um, icons on here. Um, a teddy bear, a duck, a foot and a rocking horse. I am not going to be doing any crafting that needs those ones. So... Like I said, I'm just going through and deciding kind of what I want to do for crafting. And I'm just trying to figure out what I'm what I'm going to keep and get rid of. And I'm just going to continue going through this until I've got everything, you know, down to just exactly what I need. Okay, so right now it looks like I've got a bigger mess than I had earlier. But I've been pulling out boxes from the pantry and dumping out and sorting everything out. So this box here is about, still about half full and there's everything that I've pulled out that I'm gonna sort through and decide if I'm keeping. Um, this box here too, I just pulled a lot of stuff out that I'm not keeping. The stuff I'm keeping is still in the box. This box here is still full of glass dishes so I did unwrap a few things to see what was in it. Same with this box, it's just glass ornaments, so I'm just not gonna touch it right now. This box here, I was putting jars that I'm keeping. This box I'll be putting outside really soon. Same with, I've got three more boxes here that I have filled, so I have another one, two, three, four, five boxes that I have filled that I'm gonna run out upstairs right away. And I've got the stack of dish, um, baking pans that I am not going to be using that I can just let go. Now it's funny as I told my husband I was moving all these jars and they're really important to me and yet I've just went through them and I'm like yeah I'm not going to be doing canning any for a while. Like, I mean if I want to I mean I grab canning jars or I do have all my brand new canning jars that so it's I'm fine for jars. Uh, so anything that's not my good mason canning jars, I'm getting rid of all the other jars. So now I can actually almost walk in here. Sorry, just oh, lots of dust. Okay, so I can actually walk in here. Yes, I've got these things here on the floor that I'm going to be putting on my shelves right away. That's what I'm going to be working on. It's just straightening out this pantry. It's not what I was going to do. I really have to get the other spot done. But it's one of those things where you move around and you're just sorting and moving things around. And I just want to get this done. So it's just these items here. Um, I've got some of these um, 
kitchen appliances that I am not keeping, I am selling. And any that I am going to be listing and putting on Kijiji in the next couple of days, I'm actually just putting in the bathtub right now. So my bathtub is full of kitchen appliances. And then, of course, I did find old canning jars full of food. And I'll be getting rid of those later tonight. I'll be... Dumping those out and getting rid of them. It happens. Stuff gets, you know, misplaced in the pantry, the top shelf. We were in a hurry moving. I just, they just got mixed in with all my other canning jars and just got brought over. So I'll be dealing with those later today. And then just trying to figure out, like, most of these boxes here, I kind of opened a few are glass items so they are my kitchen stuff which is what I was looking for I was looking for my dishes and pots and pans to finish my kitchen but I couldn't get down to here so now I found them so I'm going to be taking all this kitchen stuff back upstairs to go through upstairs in the living room where there's a little more room so I'm just like I said it looks like I've made a bigger mess but I have been taking out so much stuff today putting it out um I haven't been out for a little while, so I'm just curious when I go out there how much stuff is still sitting out there that people haven't taken. I also have baby items I'm going to be putting outside in this next little bit. So again, I'm just continuing and it feels like it's a never ending job, but I know it'd be worth it when everything I said, this is my final last time of going through each of these boxes, each of these bins bags whatever they're in and that is it if I don't need it if I can replace it I'm not keeping it I've got a whole bunch of kitchen stuff over there uh, again they'll be taking them upstairs just figure out if I need them I don't know how many spatulas I have upstairs and I just found a box with a few more spatulas and whisks and things so I will be just figuring that out but that's kitchen so this is where I'm getting into this thing where this area of my basement is craft and office the other room is the pantry so that's just going to be food and anything I have to store pots and pans that I have to store in there that is it and if any of this other stuff is home decor I'm taking it upstairs to that spare bedroom if it's like stuff, personal items, I just don't feel like dealing with. I'm taking it upstairs to that bedroom today. Um, I just want to get arts and crafts and office down here. And then any of this other stuff that's kitchen, I'm just going to take it upstairs to the living room. So I'm just kind of going through, separating things kind of like where they go. Like I've got this pile over here, which is um, office supplies. And then I've got personal paper sitting here. So again, it's just, you know, dumping out a box and sorting it kind of like, where is it? What is it? Category does it belong to? And just, yes, I'm just kind of like everywhere. I just, I can't seem to just dump out one box and then put one item away. I'm one of those visual people. I have to dump it all out. And in order to get rid of stuff, I have to know like how many cupcake, um, reusable cupcake things do I have? So I've got this stack here. And then I've got the stack here of the heart ones um, as I'm going through like the kitchen stuff. Um, so anything that was uh, duplicates or like I'm not, I'm not, I don't bake any cupcakes or anything that often. So any of the unopened cupcake liners, I'm putting the box to, to get rid of. Same with cookie cutters. I have now gotten all my cookie cutters down to this bag. I have four or five Ziploc bags full of cookie cutters. I didn't even look through. I just put them in the box. They're already upstairs on my driveway. So again, I'm just looking. And that's why I said it helps for me just to know that some of this stuff was just randomly thrown in boxes. And if I just dump out each um, box and then separate it into each of its own categories, then I can go through each category and put it where it needs to go. It's probably a longer process, but that is how like I have to figure out and you know, get rid of, like, if I were to take all these and put them upstairs in the kitchen right now, I mean, they're, they need to be washed, but if I were to just grab all this kitchen stuff and throw it upstairs in the drawer right now, if I come across more of this stuff, I'm not going to know how much I have. 
I already have the new ones upstairs in the kitchen. So these are the old ones. Now I know I do not have a honey one. So this is my one and only little honey spoon. Same with these. These are my only two wine stoppers I have. So if they're not upstairs, they're sitting down here. Um, there's my straws and my extra lids for my Starbucks cups. I haven't even come across my Starbucks cups yet. So again, it's just things were put in different boxes. Like this was the drawers. My cups are in the box with the dishes because they were in the cupboard. So when I find the cups, then I can put the cups with this, put these all together. That's how my mind works. Just trying to figure out what I have, especially when there is still all this behind me and every other area of my house is all like this. But I know it's going to be a long, slow process, but well worth it in the end. So I'll be back as I've finished doing this. My Hopefully I want to have this basement cleared today. I'm just going to check the time. It's one. 15. So my my goal is by four o'clock to have none of these boxes sitting here. Now the Rubbermaid bins I still need down here but these boxes if they're going to be empty I want them emptied and in the other room or if they're full of stuff to be on the driveway. So all this loose stuff here I want to just my last box of dumping out of odd things now I just want to get all of this stuff put where it's going. So that's my goal, it's just to finish this. And then I got distracted and I started doing other things. And I've got to get myself back to this side and just, you know, go through this stuff and put these items that I've dumped out that need to get put into the uh, rolling carts, into back into the rolling carts. So I'll be back as I get more of this done. So there is all the boxes that I have emptied. There's my bag of all the bags that I've emptied. Um, over here, it doesn't really look like I've accomplished too much. There's still a lot of stuff on the floor. In fact, I dumped out a couple more boxes just now for myself to kind of work through. And just get this stuff put back into those rolling carts. And this box here is the stuff I got to take upstairs, but the, to the uh, to my driveway. But there's still so much stuff right there that I just can't do it. This pile of food here, I've got to double check. I believe that's all the expired food, but I did work on my pantry area today. So I took everything down. I had to vacuum every shelf. I didn't really wipe down the shelves, but they just need to be vacuumed. And so I've got all our stuff put here so I've got like this side here is mostly you know the pantry items and then these shelves over on this side were my um, kitchen appliances so yeah and then my big bags of rice and flour and sugar I want to get those in bins and have them in the bin similar to these ones on the floor and then all the canning jars I'm keeping, I just put in this box under here for now. So I just have to get the dog food in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it tonight. I'm just, let's see, it is just after five now. So I've been down here like all day. Then everything that's in this box, I am going to wipe down and make sure everything works. And I'm going to sell everything here probably like 10 bucks on Kijiji or whatever so that is what I've done today I'll be back doing this again tomorrow so now it's about four o'clock Wednesday evening and I'll show you what I've got um, stepping in my garbage pile so this crate here has my um, Nutribullet and Magic Bullet attachments that's just the mop. This box here is mostly donation stuff. Then I've got my ironing board and my um, tripods. And then these um, brooms are going to the garage. And then in here, I've actually got my pantry all organized and set up. I mean, it's not perfect. There's a few things that I really like where they're sitting. But it's just to give me an idea of 
how it's going to be organized as I find things and put them in here. And then I just have my folding screen just sitting here just because I need it out of my way. Same with my ironing boards. I just put them in here and same with my shoe racks. And then these two um, boxes here are my um, baking dishes and stuff. Cake pans, cookie pans, cookie cutters, things like that. I went through and I actually got rid of quite a big stack. But these are the items, like, I gotta go through, like, all my spring form pans, and I'm just gonna see, I've got three or four of the exact same size, I'm probably just gonna keep one, maybe two of the same size, I don't know, I will be going through that and deciding, and then I've got this other little rolling cart sitting here, I've got the broken chair sitting there, just so they're out of my way, but I've, again, I've got, like, just a few things just sitting here that have to go somewhere else, but just to get it, out of my way for the other side of the basement. So that's just my big garbage pile, recycling, it just kind of all got merged together. And then you come into the bathroom, so there's the door, it will be hung tomorrow. Uh, my washer and dryer is supposed to be coming tomorrow. So I've got some kitchen appliances sitting in my bathtub for right now, but there we go. So there is my laundry room. So the washer and dryer is coming tomorrow, that's why I'm just trying to get everything organized. And I just put these shelves in here and boxes, both have cleaning products in them. So that is all my cleaning supplies that I actually use. I will be going through it once more just as I put things on the shelf um, in here. And this little rack here I wasn't going to keep, but it fits perfectly in here. And I just thought it gives me a few extra shelves in my laundry room. So I just put a few things on those shelves. And then out here in the main part, you can just see, oops, I just gotta go for a second. Hey, sorry about that. As I'm saying my washer and dryer is getting delivered, Best Buy is calling me, giving me the date, uh, or I guess I know the date, but the time tomorrow. So between 10 and one tomorrow. So there, <laughs> just as I talk about it, they call. So this is the main area and I really got like a lot of stuff is dumped out and just need to kind of put the stuff away. And this is what I was trying to work the other night, but then I got distracted over in the pantry. And now today I just really had to get the laundry room cleared out for the guys to do that. Now tonight the medicine cabinets are supposed to get hung and so was the new light fixtures. So I'm hoping that they'll really get done tonight. So right now I'm just going to continue working on this main area here. And then under the stairs, I'm just going to put all my exercise stuff under the stairs for now. It just gets it out of this main area and over there out of my way for now. And then I will show this closet. I don't know if I did before, but all my clothes that were here. Oops. Sorry, I need both my hands to move the stuff. But I just threw all my clothes and purses and shoes just in here. So that's all that's in here. This will be getting, you know, this is my next project to work on next week. I hope I can get to that point. I'll have everything else oops, I'll see, down here <laughs> done. So I'm just going to continue working. Oops, I should be done down here, you know. Today, for sure, tomorrow, I should have all this stuff here all cleared and put away. So I'll be back as I continue to organize and get rid of and put away. So I've been working really hard doing this basement. I have now gone through every one of the drawers, every box and bag of stuff that I had down here. So I just have this amount of stuff to finish putting in the drawers. Or some of it will be going for donations, but I think most of this stuff has now been sorted out. So this just needs to get put away. Uh, I moved the tall blue bookshelf to this side only because when it was over here by the window, it made the basement look really small when you walked in. Uh, for some reason, just the visual of it, just, you know, how high it was touching the ceiling makes the ceiling look very short. So, I don't know, moving it here so when I'm coming through this corner, it just kind of blends in with the wall and you don't see all the stuff on the shelves. And then you just have all the rolling carts right there. And then I've got my four cubicles. 
So I get the two nines and the two sixes. And I told my husband, I wanted to make sure that the nines fit in that space and they do. So now I wanna get the two sixes put on top of the nines, but I wanna put them in a way that it looks like it's a nice decor piece as well. So it's be functional and kind of looks like it was a built-in cabinetry system. So I'm trying to figure that one out. That I'm not sure when we'll get get to that, but you know, it's okay. And this over here, so this is a mix of donations and kitchen stuff that I gotta go through. And then I have behind the bathroom door here, I have these three boxes. And as I was filling them up, I was taking everything out of here um, to up on my driveway. I've already taken another two boxes today. So I'm just gonna finish putting this stuff away. And then oh, right here, I've got some glass dishes. I just don't have anywhere to put them at the moment. Um, as soon as I'm able to, I'm just going to stack them on the table down here just to get them out of the way. But I've got nowhere to put them. And then I've got a few boxes of stuff here. So this box here I still have to go through. This box on the bottom is my candle and soap making supplies. And then I've got these other two boxes of just random stuff that belong in other places in my house like my tablecloths and stuff. And then I've got a roasting pan and then I've got the cleaners. So the cleaners have to go in the laundry room. The roasting pan will go in the pantry eventually if I'm ever able to get to cleaning this out a little bit better. But this is as far as my pantry is. I just had to put a few extra things in here out of my way. And like I said, this big bag here is just Christmas decor. And I found my nice Christmas table runner. So it's the... Um, Kincaid, right? So it's, yeah, the Thomas Kincaid one. So that I will be putting upstairs very soon. So I'll be starting decorating upstairs for Christmas. And like I said, this is just a few extra odd things just had to get put here. So I have um, more room over here to finish sorting and putting away everything. So I'm just going to put this stuff away and then I will be back to show you a final reveal of kind of how it's going to look, how I think I'm going to have it set up, but everything will finally be, you know, gone through. And then I can start in another area of my house. All right, so I'm just going to show my basement starting from the stairs. That's all the garbage I have picked up today, going through the few things. Those three boxes there are empty. Um, like I said, I had two of them were full of stuff earlier today that I took out to my driveway. And then I've got the mop bucket back there. My husband's got his tools, charging, whatever. I've got a laundry basket with some other bins. I don't know if I'm gonna need them. I'm not getting rid of them. I might need them. And then here under the stairs, I have half my exercise equipment. So I think my exercise equipment is gonna go under here. My husband said he would build me shelves or I guess his brother would build me shelves to store everything. The old light fixture, I think that has to go in the garbage. I'm not touching it though. Those little step stools, I think when I've got room in the pantry, they might fit in the pantry. And then the shop back is either gonna go in with the in the other room where the my laundry sink is and the furnace is, or it's gonna be stored in the garage. I don't know, it's my husband will decide that. So I've got this all cleared out. Now I do know that when the pantry is done, I actually am going to hang that on a hook on the wall. If it will fit, I'm not, you know, I thought it, I measured it should fit, but you know, I've put some extra shelving stuff in there. So we'll have to see. So then that one closet, be, the one door goes to my closet. The other one is to the pantry. So oops. pantry looks like this. Yeah, those boxes of stuff that go other rooms, I just stuck in here. The stuff that goes in um, for the pantry, I put in here. There's a few things to be donated that in those boxes, but I'm not gonna finish doing that today. I just want to get this main part of the basement done, and I am finished. I mean, I know there's still stuffed on, you know, piled up. I'm not worried about that. My thing is was just to go through all these drawers and just see what I had to get rid of anything I can get rid of. 
and just trying to organize and figure out what kind of crafting I want to do. Um, and then my bookshelves over here. So I've got books and games and I got my spray paints and stuff. Those will be going into the garage. I just, we just don't have a shelf for them right now. And so they're just down here for now. And then the bottom shelf, I've got some of my Christmas um, projects that I'm going to be do working with. Then that bag is all Christmas ornaments. The other box is crafts that I would finish or I was about to start when we were in the middle of moving. That wicker basket is material. And then I just have a few other boxes of a few other things. Like I said, over here, that wine bottle is, or that wine box is full of corks. Then I, the little basket, um, the green stripes, has all my tripods and extra filming equipment. And then the little other box is like my soap and candle making. And then this stuff, near the end, if you notice, near the end, I just kind of started picking up little items and just putting them into whatever drawer they'll fit into at the moment. I was trying to separate everything into piles on the floor and then put things in. And then I said, I have too much stuff and I don't have time for that. I just need my basement to be like a usable crafting area. And then on my table, I have like glass dishes and some other home decor things that have, don't have a home yet, but you know, they will very soon. So there we go. I've got my basement mostly organized. Uh, kind of know how I want things arranged, where I want things to go. It's taken me quite a while to do this, but you know, I said it's every box, every bag, every drawer, just doing this major, getting rid of, you know, decluttering, organizing, anything I know I'm not going to use, I'm getting rid of. So again, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's subscribing to my channels and watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.